Claude Sire, finish him off. One last poison jab. Bang! The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. Seven Star Primarina is here, and I'm a pretty big fan of it. I love when the Seven Star Terror Raids feature different gameplay mechanics, and Primarina does just that by using Sing and Encore, which is a really interesting Pokemon move that makes the target repeat its last used move. I didn't face Primarina night one because I was driving from Florida to New Jersey with my sister. Took us 19 hours, but we did it. Now I am staying at my parents' house while I am house hunting. And as you can see, the unpacking, it's going slowly, but the unpacking can wait. It is Pokemon time. Even in my absence, our community, the Danimal Kingdom, has two goals when it comes to these events, terror raids. Help as many people as possible get the win in these terror raids, and then beat the terror raids with as many different Pokemon as possible. To accomplish goal number one, I am featuring the Danimal Lynx Plotsire build for soloing Primarina. A big thank you to Link. Now let's take a look at how we're going to take down the Mermaid Seal Primarina. Here's a high level look at 7 star Primarina and some builds that you can use to defeat it. Most notably, we have the Plotsire build that we're going to get into in this video. Also, we have three of the builds I covered in the Primarina preview that do work in group raids. That's Tinkaton, Alcremi, and Empoleon. I said Alcremie's abilities don't matter. That was not true because one of the abilities makes it so our allies cannot sleep. The other protects us from Encore. So Alcremie, very, very good. Tinkaton can actually solo, but it's a little tricky. I prefer Bloodsire. And up to top right, we have the Goldango. The Goldango is able to do some pretty awesome clears of Free Marina. But now it's Clodsire time. Here is the star of today's video. It is Link's Clodsire build. This Cloud Sire is courtesy of my friend Matt. Thank you, Matt. And there we have a Poison Terror type. I'm going with that to make this build as accessible as possible. You don't even have to change its Terror type. Sure, you could go Steel to uh, resist Psychic instead of being weak to it, but it's fine with Poison. Our Held Item Metronome increases the amount of damage that we're going to be doing with Poison Jab. And yep, we're using Poison Jab as our main attacking move, so it's a physical attacking Cloud Sire. We're going to go with Max Attack EVs, Max Special Defense EVs, and the final four in HP. Max IVs in all stats except for Special Attack, and give your Cloud Sire an Adamant Mint to further increase its attack while lowering its Special Attack to a hilariously low of 97. The ability Water Absorb is the key to this build. This is the same ability that Vaporeon has, another great build for Primarina. It not only makes our Cloud Sire immune to Primarina's water type moves, which as we know, it has the ability Liquid Voice we covered in the preview. It makes the move sing into a water type move. It not only makes us immune to these water type moves, but it makes those water type moves heal us, which is why we're able to use the metronome held item for extra damage instead of the shell bell. We don't even have to worry about the recovery. Instead, we can use Amnesia to increase our special bulk, as you'll see soon. We can use Curse to increase the damage output of Poison Jab. And we have Protect on that ever so important turn in which Water Absorb is negated. Poison Jab is our main attacking move. It has a chance to poison, but we don't really mind. We just want to be swinging for some good damage with Poison Jab. Now that you know how to put your Cloud Sire together, let's go through the turn-by-turn, step-by-step guide of how you can use this Cloud Sire to defeat Primarina. Time to see Cloud Sire in action. I like the turn one Amnesia to soften up some Psychics early. We have that Water Absorb, just like another fantastic option, Vaporeon. That way we suck up that Sing. It will actually restore HP, but it won't do anything. So I like one Amnesia. That way we can take some big hits from uh, Psychic early if it decides to use it. Obviously, we're going to get wiped kind of shortly, so Amnesia is only going to help for a little bit. So I'm going to go with Poison Jab. We want to charge our Terror Orb. Poison Jab, Poison Jab, Poison Jab. And we want to be especially using Poison Jab when our stats get negated and our ability is cleared. Because at that point, Free Marina will be using Encore. And there's a 25% chance that we will get hit with that Encore. So we want to make sure we're Poison Jabbing up into that point. So that way, if we get locked into any move, we're locked into Poison Jab. And if that's the case, we don't really mind. Because we're just going to be just dealing a lot of damage. So I like... That one amnesia and then just poison jab until free marina uses encore on one of the four pokemon because it's 25 percent chance that it's not going to be you but 
if you're on a time crunch, it's just going to be you. Like the RNG, it's... If something will go wrong, it is going to go wrong. So here we are. We're very close to it, so make sure we're just still poison jabbing. I'm recording this day two of the terror raid. I didn't get to record it day one. I'm going to terrestrialize because why not? Let's just do more damage. Let's do more damage here. It hasn't cleared our stuff yet. When it, when it clears our ability and stats, we are going to use Protect. That way we don't get hit with a water move like Sing. But right now we're okay for one more turn. We have that water absorb, but after this attack, there's a good chance that our stats and ability get nullified. So that way we need to protect. That's why we protect for here. Yup, here it is. Now we protect. We are floating on Clod 9. Beautiful chat message during the stream. Protect the Clods. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Protect. That way we're not hit with a water type move because water absorb is kaput during this turn. And there was that one out of four chance that we got hit with Encore. During this recording, we didn't. But every other time on stream this day, if you know, you know, I got walled with it. So now at this point, we're not going to get our stats negated again. So I like two amnesias here. That way we could really tank these psychics because psychic will hit pretty hard. I also do like the uh, gold dango. If you're going to run this stream or you watch the replay. I was fumbling the bag with it, but Goldango is excellent. I'm going to release a short on that if I have not already. I'll put a little card in here in the future. So those are two amnesias. Again, full step-by-step -step in the description of this video. Two amnesias. Then we're going to go four curses. Four curses. We don't have the shell bell for recovery, but every time it uses a water type move, it will provide that healing right on cue. Right on cue. So that's why I'm, we're going anti-shell bell. I'm going extra damage because Claude's are, it can be a touch slow. Some people are saying that it's a little slower than Vaporeon. Maybe they're right. Vaporeon rocks too, but I like the Claude. So we're going to uh, go up to four curses. Watch how much damage. See? That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. Non-stab psychic. We're not scared. We don't really need the third. The critical hit is going to do a lot of damage. I don't think we're in crit hit range. But that's yet to be seen. So we're we're going to be going second. We are slow as the day is long after curse. We're gonna do one more. But while we're cursing up, I want to know what you are using to take down Seven Star Pre Marina. I was not live on night one for this second Seven Star Terror Raid in a row. Uh, as of recording this yesterday, I drove from Florida to New Jersey, 19 hours with one of my big sisters. So shout out to Sun Sister. We did. We were alternating driving. 19 hours. Holy cow, I'm exhausted. My room is still a mess. I had to move back in my parents. I started house hunting on Monday, so I'm just staying with my parents. But long story short, we I went to Bucky's for the first time, so leave a comment if you've ever been to Bucky's, because that place is a magical, magical land. They had anything you could want. So now at this point, let me just do a quick stat check. Plus four attack, plus four defense, plus four special defense. We're big chilling. Free Marina is going to clear its debuffs again at some point, but it doesn't really matter to us. Its attack is down, but it's a special attacker. So now at this point, we can just poison jab until we win. We have the metronome held item. Our damage is going to be increased by 20% every time we attack. Yep. So that is our starting damage point. And it's just going to grow, grow, grow. And the Claude Sire is indeed the God Sire. I'm just glad to use anything in the Whooper line in a 7-star Terror Raid. Now we just poison jab. The Encore and Sing is a very tricky combination. Credit to Game Freak for like keeping it fresh. I think they've gotten really good at making these raids. Like there haven't been like a good level of difficulty. If Pre Marina had call mine too, holy cow. But all in all, really enjoyed this raid. Didn't do it night one, but very fun. I'm still waiting for seven star Coridon and Miridon. It's coming. Seven star Coridon and Miridon. They are going to be coming. And you're going to come back here and we're going to do them together because a lot of you, a lot of you aren't even watching this because you don't even care about seven star terror raids anymore. So how am I talking to you? I don't know. But yeah, once we get seven star Corridon and Miridon, 
And I hope they do the challenge. A million trainers have to defeat it. Then we get a shiny Corridon or Miridon. That's what I want. That's what I want to use my time in the Terry to talk about. Yeah. While we're poison jabbing. That's how easily that Claude's, this Claude Sire builds solo 7-star Primarina. We don't have to think about it. Beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. And now, oh, we get ready for the cold open. Get, oh, let's get warmed up so we can go. That way, this is what you saw in the beginning of the video. You go, whoa, I recognize it. It's a full circle moment. Tank that hit. Claude Sire, finish him off. One last poison jab. Bang! The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. And that is show business, baby. Now let's pick out our Pokeball. Oh, look at it. It's all great. The Mermaid Merman. What Poke... Here we go. What Pokeball... Wait, wait. Wait, wait, and wait. What Pokeball are you using to catch 7-star Primarina in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I'm going with the Love Ball because the Primarina is based on the myth of the Sirens. The, the creatures that would sing to the sailors and then suck out their souls like the Dementors. But what Pokeball are you using to catch 7-star Primarina? Another Claude Boy win. <laughs> Claude, Claude, Claude. Beautiful. <laughs> Yay! Claude's on. Oh my god, Force. Mamma mia! Forever Mystica. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like. Leaving a comment or using Poison Jab on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy pre-marina season! Woo!